this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. As always starting with the launches, Apple plans to launch its first online store in India next week. The online store will offer the full range of products available from Apple and offer customer support directly for the first time as well. Not only will the customers be able to purchase all Apple products in the online store, but they will also have access to Apple specialists who can guide users in their purchases and provide support. Customers will be able to receive guidance from Apple including online support in English and phone support in Hindi and English. Moving on, Google launches Carta Labs to recreate historical maps in 3D. Google launched Carta Labs, an open source scalable system on Google Cloud and Kubernetes that reconstructs what cities look like in the past from historical maps and photos. Available as a suite of tools, Carta creates a map with an explorable timeline, allowing users to populate dates with historically accurate information. According to the creators, the motivation is to organize the world's historical maps while making them accessible and useful. Coming to the next news, AI powered weight training app Tonal raises 110 million dollars. AI gym equipment startup Tonal nabbed a 110 million dollars round from new and existing investors. A spokesperson says the capital will enable Tonal to accelerate its marketing efforts, scale its supply chain and logistics and roll out software upgrades and new workout content. Tonal is sales are up 12 times year over year, plans to collaborate with the Mayo Clinic on a clinical trial exploring physical therapy application, the results of which are expected to be released. least in early 2021 moving on rapid ai raises funds to expand ai based cerebrovascular imaging Rapid AI, a company developing algorithms for the advanced imaging of stroke, has announced a 25 million dollar Series B financing round to support its strategic growth and initiatives worldwide. Rapid AI asserts that computer vision has tremendous potential in medicine and it's not alone. Zebra Medical Vision spent 3 years architecting an end-to-end -end computer vision system capable of diagnosing breast cancer and cardiovascular disease and startups like Medimatch are applying ai to medical imaging scans from acute stroke victims let's go ahead and talk about the tiktok deal after a month of pulling all tricks on either side tiktok might have finally found a trusted partner Among Microsoft and a handful of other suitors, Larry Ellison's Oracle has been chosen by Chinese internet company ByteDance to anchor itself on the US soil. The TikTok ordeal happens to be one of the many power plays by the US in its trade war against China, which has been alleged for technology espionage and other security lapses. But the race for TikTok ownership hints at something else, a cloud war. The whole deal has turned out to be a new turf for American cloud providers. riders to take another shot at dominance moving on boston dynamics delivers plans for logistic robots coming next year boston robots is just months away from announcing their approach to logistics the first real vertical it aims to enter after proving their ability to build robots at scale with the quadrupedal spot the company's new ceo robert plater sees the company coming into its own after decades of experimentation one of the earliest applications to scale successfully was of course logistics sticks where companies like Amazon have embraced robotics as a way to increase productivity and lower labor costs. Boston Dynamics is poised to jump into the market with a very different robot or rather robots meant to help move boxes and other box like items around in a very different way from the currently practical autonomous pallet method. Coming to the last news of the day, Microsoft retrieves its underwater data center after 2 years. In the spring of 2018 Microsoft deployed its Northern Isles data center 117 feet deep to the sea floor as a part of Project Natick. Microsoft has been experimenting with undersea data centers for years to understand the benefits and difficulties of deploying subsea data centers worldwide. After 2 years of testing and monitoring the performance and reliability of the data center servers, it has been taken out to observe the results. 
You can find the link to this article in the description box below. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.